Time, and that means many people are focused on the rides, the attractions, and of course the food. But event organizers and local authorities are focused on safety and security. Taylor Williams got an inside look about what it takes to keep everyone safe. Taylor. Mike, from the time the fair opens to the time it closes, law enforcement are out in full force, using both new and old technologies to keep fairgoers safe. The Vigo County Fair. A tradition that can attract thousands of people each day to the fairgrounds. When you have a fair and you got people coming down to the fair trying to enjoy the fair, you've got numerous people, the weather, the heat, you know, some people do get upset and, you know, you do need to have law enforcement involved. Lieutenant Brian DeHart with the Vigo County Sheriff's Department has been in charge of fair security for the last eight years. He says the key is preparation. It could happen, so you want to be prepared. So, yeah, you always want to be prepared for something to happen. The number of security personnel depends on the day and events scheduled, but there is always law enforcement nearby. Every part of the fairgrounds, they've got somebody. I've got somebody stationed at, so there's somebody over the 4 a side. And got a couple people over here for the carnival. And then if we had something going on in the grandstand, I'd have somebody in the grandstand. It takes a team of professionals, including firefighters and paramedics, in order to keep everyone safe. They use the latest technology, like drones, to monitor the grounds from the air and off-road vehicles to patrol on the ground. But in recent years, the department has also turned to some old-fashioned techniques. We've had a lot of good feedback. People are, are glad to see us here. You know, they, they know that they're being watched, being protected, you know, keep uh, the bad element out, if, we'll, if you will. Michael Lee Kane and his horse, JR, have been members of the Vigo County Sheriff's Posse for four years. Kane says there has been a decrease in crime at the fair and a rise in smiling faces. It's an honor to do something, you know, for the community with our animals, and uh, it's been fun. Fair officials and law enforcement will continue to work hard to ensure safety throughout the fair. And once it's all over, the planning and preparations for next year's fair will begin. Mike. All right. Thank you, Taylor, for that story. If you're headed to the fair, the Vigo County Sheriff's Department has an information hotline for you. Text 888-777-VIGO-FAIR. You can also get fair schedules and up-to-the-minute weather alerts on your smartphone.